standard 6th chapter 4 operations on fractions practice set 10 question 1 add so the first sum here is 6 1 upon 3 plus 2 1 upon 3 in the previous uh, exercise you have learned how to convert a mixed number into a improper fraction so we follow the same steps 6 multiply by 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 6 threes are 18 18 plus 1 upon 3 plus 6 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 19 upon 3 plus 7 upon 3 now the denominators are equal so we take 19 plus 7 upon 3 is equal to 26 upon 3 you divide it in the rough and you get your mixed number 8 is your question 2 is your remainder and 3 is your divisor so the final answer is 8 2 upon 3 question 2 1 1 upon 4 plus 3 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 into 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 upon 2. Now you solve the multiplication first. 1 into 4 is 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 6 plus 1 upon 2. 5 plus 7 upon 2 or 4 we cannot take because the denominators are different not the same so first we equalize the denominator 4 we keep as it is 5 upon 4 as it is plus 7 upon 2 we multiply by 2 to get the denominator 4 now we can add 5 plus 14 upon 4 which gives us 19 upon 4 when you divide 19 by 4 your final answer is 4 3 upon 4 sum number 3 5 1 upon 5 plus 2 1 upon 7 5 into 5 25 plus 1 upon 5 2 into 7 14 14 plus 1 upon 7 Next, 26 upon 5 and 15 upon 7, we cannot add directly until and unless the denominators are equal. So, we cross multiply. 26 upon 5 multiplied by 7 plus 15 upon 7 is multiplied by 5. Your answer, 182 upon 35 plus 75 upon 35. Now, you can add. 182 plus 75 gives us 257 upon 35 and 257 divided by 35 you have to write down the table of 35 35 sevens are you get 245 and remainder 12 so your final answer 7 12 upon 35 sum number 4 3 1 upon 5 plus 2 1 upon 3. 3 multiplied by 5 plus 1 upon 5 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 upon 3. This is equal to 15 plus 1 upon 5 plus 3 twos are 6. So 6 plus 1 upon 3. Now the denominators are 5 and 3. We cannot add them. So 16 5 upon 3 plus 7 upon 3. We cross multiply 16 upon 5 we multiply by 3 plus 7 upon 3 we multiply by 5. So this is equal to 48 upon 15 plus 35 upon 15. 48 plus 35 upon 15 we get 83 upon 15. On division your answer becomes 5 8 upon 15 which is a mixed number. Question number 2, subtract. Now how to subtract? Similar steps as addition. You have to first multiply and add the numerator and then subtract the 
two fractions which you get. So let's see, 3 into 3 plus 1 is 9 plus 1 upon 3 and minus sign in between. Instead of addition, the only difference here is subtraction sign in between. Other steps are the same. 1 into 4 plus 1 upon 4 gives us 4 plus 1 upon 4. Third step, 10 upon 3 minus 5 upon 4. 3 and 4 denominators are different, so we cross multiply to equalize the denominators. 10 4s are 40 and 5 3s are 15. 40 minus 15 gives you 25 upon 12 and when you divide 25 by 12, you get your quotient is 2, remainder 1 upon divisor 12. 2, 1 upon 12 is your mixed number. Second sum, 5, 1 upon 2 minus 3, 1 upon 3. 5 into 2 plus 1 upon 2 minus 3 into 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 10 plus 1 upon 2 minus 9 plus 1 upon 3. This is equal to 11 upon 2 minus 10 upon 3 equals to 11 into 3 upon 2 into 3 minus 10 into 2 upon 3 into 2. 11 3 is 33 upon 6 minus 20 upon 6. 33 minus 20 gives us 13. 13 upon 6 is 2 1 upon 6. Convert it into a mixed number. Third sum, 7, 1 upon 8 minus 6, 1 upon 10. 7 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 minus 6 into 10 plus 1 upon 10 equals to 56 plus 1 upon 8 minus 60 plus 1 upon 10 is equals to 57 upon 8 minus 61 upon 10. This equals to, now, you see the denominators are 8 and 10. You can cross multiply and get the denominator 80. Or you can check the tables, which is the common number in the table. So I know that 8 fiza is 40 and 10 fiza is 40 common to both of them. So I multiplied 57 upon 8 by 5 and 61 upon 10 by 4 to get the denominator 40 minus sign in between. Don't forget this subtraction sign because we are doing subtraction of fractions of mixed numbers. So your answer is now 285 upon 40 minus 244 upon 40. 285 minus 244 gives us 41 upon 40. On dividing 41 by 40, we get the question 1, the remainder 1 and divisor 40. So final answer 1, 1 upon 40. Sum number 4, 7, 1 upon 2, minus 3, 1 upon 5. This is equal to 7 into 2 plus 1 upon 2, minus 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 5, equals to 14 plus 1 upon 2. First we multiply. Minus 3 fives are 15. 15 plus 1 upon 5 is equal to 15 upon 2 minus 16 upon 5. 2 and 5 are our denominators. We cannot subtract the numerators till the denominators are equal. So we cross multiply. 15 upon 2 we multiply by the other denominator which is 5 and 16 upon 5. We multiply with the previous denominator that is 2. So you get 15 into 5 75, 16 into 2 32. 75 minus 32 upon 10 gives you 43 upon 10. On dividing, you get the quotient 4, then the remainder 3 comes on top and divides the 10 at the bottom. So your final answer is 4, 3 upon 10. Question 3 Word Problems First one Suyesh bought 2.5 kg of sugar and Ashish bought 3.5 kg. How much sugar did they buy altogether? 
if sugar cost rupees 32 per kg how much did they spend on the sugar they bought let's see the solution so first step sugar bought by suyash is equal to 2 and 1/2 kg sugar bought by ashish is equal to 3 and 1/2 kg therefore total sugar bought by both is equal to 2 and 1/2 plus 3 and 1/2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 upon 2 plus 6 plus 1 upon 2 this is equal to 5 upon 2 plus 7 upon 2 we add 5 plus 7 upon 1 common denominator 2 it gives us 12 upon 2 12 divided by 2 is 6 so our answer is 6 kg so the total sugar bought by both is 6 kg now the second part of the sum cost of 1 kg of sugar is rupees 32 therefore cost of 6 kg of sugar is equal to 32 multiplied by 6 is equal to rupees 192 therefore a final answer they bought 6 kg sugar all together and the total money spent on sugar is rupees 192 so practice the sum well in your notebook let's go to second question aradhana grows potatoes in two fifth part of a garden greens in one third part and brinjals in the remaining part on how much of her plot did she plant brinjals so there is a garden and the garden will be considered as one whole part and there are three different vegetables grown in that so we have potatoes on two five fifth part brinjals in one third part and the remaining part we know, want to know that greens in one third part and brinjals we want to find out how much part she is planting brinjals so let's see the steps part of garden occupied by potatoes is equal to 2 upon 5 part of garden occupied by greens is equal to 1 upon 3 since brinjals are planted in the remaining part part occupied by potatoes plus part occupied by greens plus part occupied by brinjals is equal to one entire garden right so therefore part of garden occupied by brinjals will be the whole one part minus the other two plantations that is part of garden occupied by potatoes plus part of garden occupied by greens so let's find out that 1 minus potatoes were grown on 2 upon 5 parts and greens upon 1 upon 3 so 1 minus 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 3 now we have to equalize the denominators in order to add them so 1 minus remains same then 2 upon 5 multiplied by 3 plus 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5 you get 1 minus bracket 6 upon 15 plus 5 upon 15 close the brackets this is equal to 1 minus bracket 6 plus 5 upon common denominator 15 close the bracket is equal to 1 minus 11 upon 15 now we don't have a denominator for 1 so we cross multiply we multiply 1 by 15 so this is equal to 1 into 15 upon 1 into 15 is minus 11 upon 15 as it is is equal to 15 upon 15 minus 11 upon 15 15 minus 11 gives you 4 upon 15 so we got our answer therefore aradhana planted brinjals on 4 upon 15 part of a plot Question number three. Sandeep filled water in four upon seven of an empty tank. After that, Ramakant filled one upon four part more of the same tank. Then Umesh used three upon fourteen part of the tank to water the garden. If the tank has a maximum capacity of five sixty liters, how many liters of water will be left in the tank? So first, let's see. how we can solve the first part part of tank 
filled by Sandeep is equal to 4 upon 7 and part of tank filled by Ramakant is equal to 1 upon 4. So how much did they both fill the tank all together? We will add and check. So part of tank filled by both of them all together is equal to 4 upon 7 plus 1 upon 4. Your denominators are different, so equalize the denominators and you get 16 upon 28 plus 7 upon 28. Okay, 4 is cro cross multiplied by the with the fraction 4 upon 7 and 1 upon 4 is, cross mu is multiplied with 7. 16 plus 7 upon 28, you get 23 upon 28. Now, part of tank used by Umesh was 3 upon 14. Used means... From what is filled, we have to subtract that much. So therefore, part of tank now filled with water will be the 23 upon 28 part which Sandeep and Ramakant filled all together minus what was used by Umesh. That is 3 upon 14. 23 upon 28 minus 3 upon 14 equals to equalize the denominator. We have to multiply only 3 upon 14 by 2. So we get 28 as the denominator. So, 23 upon 28 as it is, minus 3 into 2 upon 14 into 2, which gives you 23 upon 28 minus 6 upon 28 is equal to 23 minus 6 upon 28. Final answer, 17 upon 28. Now, this is just the first part. By now, you have understood that how much tank was filled by both of them, Sandeep and Ramakant. And after filling up that much tank, Umesh has used some water from that tank. So how much Umesh has used was 3 upon 14. We minus it from the total amount of water in the tank. And we got now the water left in the tank is 17 upon 28. Now, since maximum capacity of the tank is 560 liters, total the tank can be filled up is the limit is 560 liters. Therefore, quantity of water left in tank will be 17 upon 28 into 560, which gives you 340 liters. So now, the quantity of water left in the tank is 340 liters. That means the tank was completely filled. Okay. And then, the quantity of water left in the tank is 340 liters because of the quantity of water that was used by Umesh. That is 17 upon 28 multiplied by 560. So hope you have understood this practice set. Practice it well in your notebook. Keep learning. Stay safe. Thank you.